Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to NB Edits. Today, Nick and I again are up here in the north woods of Wisconsin and we are out on some pretty big water. Goal for tonight is to get into some walleyes. It's currently sundown and I'll tell you what, we're excited to be out here. We just got our very first flag of the evening. We are set up on a weed edge and we are going to try and get hopefully a lot of walleyes, but most importantly, we're trying to target a bigger one. We're on a lake that holds some massive fish. It also holds a lot of fish. We don't know if tonight's gonna be a numbers night or a big fish kind of night, but we're about to find out. It is very windy out here this evening, so I apologize for that. Hopefully the audio is gonna be okay for you guys. Just had a little bit of movement. Here we go, a little bit more. Slow, slow turns, just about a quarter turn. We're gonna go ahead and take the first one of the night. on a line that's for sure there's the bobber oh yep there's some head shakes come on up here buddy it's a little walleye come on through all right there we go guys first one of the evening not a giant by any means but hey that's a nice size walleye very first one and uh it's still early sun is just going down go ahead and grab my players here quick we'll get this one unhooked and we'll get a good look at him before he goes back one last look at him about a 18 19 inch walleye we're not keeping any fish out here tonight just coming out here to enjoy it come on buddy here we go tail wave goodbye Woo! that feels good guys first fish hopefully first one of many yep we just got another tip up right there i just watched it go up well let brandon warm up his hands i'll put this one back and uh, I will be taking the second tip up. Now the spot that we're actually fishing today is a spot we've never fished before. What you didn't see on camera is us spending an hour out here drilling holes, checking it with the underwater camera. And uh, yeah, success so far. I'm not gonna waste any time. We're gonna go check that other tip up. Got him. Yes, sir. Well, that's definitely not what I want to get my hands cold for, especially out in this wind, but my first fish of the night, slimy little northern. I'm gonna get them unhooked right away. Get it back down because I don't want to catch any more of these. It's prime time, I want to catch some walleyes. Well, Brandon is being nice enough to let me take this other tip up here because normally when we're out fishing, we like to take turns with our tip ups. Um, it's not like a, I set three, he sets three. No, we usually just, go on and off um, but well this one is moving now but the last one was a northern so we're just gonna like take turns for walleyes a real fish so this one's definitely moving pretty good here got him head shaking right away definitely gonna be a walleye I hope <laughs> <laughs> Yep, that's a walleye. Uh, everything is just freezing on us here. Come on. There you go. There we go. Nice. Well, there we go. First walleye for me, probably, I don't know, cookie cutter to the same size that Brandon caught. Another just beautiful northern Wisconsin walleye though. We are out here for bigger ones, but hey, crazy action like what we're getting right now three in a row can't complain with that all right got the hook out extremely windy get them back right away see you later buddy let's get it reset uh we could have more tip ups we haven't even had a chance to put our tip up lights on yet so <laughs> you know anything's possible we still got a couple flags over there that we can't see anymore and uh yeah we're just gonna keep grinding this out the flags are popping it is cold but i'm loving it oh would you look at that we weren't even able to make it to the shack yet. And uh, another one popped. Yep. Rough life, man, rough life. Yeah, this is flight number four. We finally got the tip-up lights on the other four that we've got in. Right now, we've got five tip-ups in the water, and then we've got one hole in our shack for jigging. Total of six we can have here. I'm not gonna waste too much time. I think I'm just gonna go ahead and take this. Got him. Doesn't feel like a ton of weight, but sometimes that can change. 
Here he comes, another little pike. What the heck? Didn't feel like yeah, a lot of weight. Disgrace. That is. Come on, buddy. Why aren't you the right species? God, it is actually Hurricane Katrina out here. It really is. It is so windy. Still haven't made it back to that shack, but uh, as you can tell, we got another freaking tip up. Yep, tip up number five. Go ahead and turn my headlamp off so you guys can see what's going on here. Tip up number five, and so far four out of the five have gone up. So it sounds like we've got some pretty good locations on these. I'd love to jig in the shack, but if we're gonna keep getting flags, I'm not gonna complain. This is it's a good sign. No bobber, so she took out some line. I can feel it. Yep, there we go. Oh, didn't go far. A little bit of weight to it. Feels like head shakes. Oh, <laughs> I had my hands on him. Wow, he spit it right at the hole. It wasn't very big. Yeah, it was a small walleye. It was probably about 15 or 16 inches. I had my hands all the way around him. <laughs> well, at least it wasn't a big one or anything like that. Still got the minnow. Minnow's still kicking. We're gonna go ahead and drop it back down there. Shucks, missed on that one, but again, at least it was just a little guy. Well, we made it back to the shack, doing a little jigging here as we're waiting for more flags to go up. It was quite the flurry we had early. As the sun went down, it didn't take long. Had multiple flags there. We've been jigging for a little while. Nick did get one that came in that was very interested in the bait. and Absolute ended up giant. Yeah, giant. It was probably about a, I don't know, maybe 12, 13 inch walleye. So we just sent it back. Um, we didn't have the camera or anything really ready for it. So uh, you guys won't see that one. But we've got a total of, we got two five pike. Five tip-ups, I think, right now, total. Yeah, five flags. We've got five fish, too, because we got the one in here. Two pike, three walleye. Nothing huge, but it's a decent start. So I'm going to go ahead and yeah, take a look out the window here. Just see. Hey, we actually got a blinking light. The far one. I don't believe it. Hey. Ugh. Well, I will say the one nice thing about being in the shack actually is that it's freaking warm. It is like Hurricane Katrina out there, so I'm not looking yeah. forward to that, but I am looking forward that we have a flag. Yeah, it's very windy. It's cold, Ugh. but we got to go do it. Well, now that we are out here in the process of walking to this tip up, I don't know if you can see behind me, but to my right, we got another blinking red light. So I'm gonna play the 50-50 ball here. I'm gonna go ahead and choose this type up and check this one out first, but once I'm done here, then we're gonna walk over to that one and check that one out as well. No movement, but my hands are already cold. I haven't even touched water. So I'm just gonna go ahead and check it right away. That is frozen. So that's definitely what you want. easy though. Let's see. It's really not doing anything. He's just gently coming. There he is. It's a nice walleye. Uh, maybe not that big. Just a nice walleye. There we go. Alright. Nice. Not as big as I thought, but wow, that thing is skinny. That it's must long, be though. a long male. Probably. Man, that's got to be like 23 inches almost. Yeah. Just really, really skinny. Normally, that's not how you find them out here, but if this is a male, that would definitely be why. Yeah, I'm gonna you go ahead. <laughs> I'd love to keep showing you, but I'm gonna put them back here. It is so windy, it's not gonna take long to get these fins all iced up. So I'm gonna drop them back in there, unhook them, and then get them back. All right, one last look. It's already starting to get a little tense. Drop them right back. Woo! Full of energy. God, my hands are so freaking cold. But that's okay. Never gets old catching walleyes. And on the bright side, we got another flag. This time, Brandon's turn. Alrighty, well, Nick's got the biggest one of the night on me so far. Let's see, we got another little one or are we gonna upgrade here? Fish was, oh, yep, see, it's moving. He's there, I that's just cool. saw a little movement on it. Wow, this one ran a lot, actually. Got him. A little bit more weight this time. Yeah. Yep. Better than last time. It might not be massive, but it's definitely better. Wind is just taking that line. Some good head shakes here. There's the bobber. It'll be close. A lot of head shakes. A lot of head shakes. Do you just? Oh, 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 oh. 
We'd be swimming up at the hole. That scared me. We're at the leader. That's pretty nice. That's a pretty nice one. Nice slot, maybe? Come on up here. Yep, come say hi. There we go. Hoo -hoo -hoo, nice. There we go. That's another good one. Not a super long fish, but definitely a healthy one. A little bit thicker. Nice colors to them there. That's exciting. Another nice fish. This might be one of our last fish of the evening, but man, super gold in color. I'm gonna go ahead, put them back down in here. I like to get them down into the hole, like Nick was saying. It's super cold, super windy. We don't want those fins freezing up on them, so I'm gonna go ahead, just dip him back in. I'm gonna grab my pliers. Man, this is turning out to be a pretty good night. It's a new spot, we've never fished it. We have fished this lake, but we've never fished this spot at all. And uh, we just wanted to come out, try something new. Some of the areas that we do like to fish are a little bit risky, you could say. And uh, we wanted to get out still on this lake. We made the trip all the way out here, so. All right, she's unhooked. We go ahead, get one good last look at her. Probably about a 20 to 21 inch fish, I'm gonna say, roughly. We'll go ahead, drop her right back down into the hole. Wow, beautiful colors to this fish. Oh yeah. There she goes, tail Ooh. wave goodbye. That's, That's what cool. it's all about right there. That is awesome. All right, well, like I said, we're having a great night out here. It's not super late, but we've got a pretty decent drive home, so we'll see. Maybe if we get another fish within the next 20, 30 minutes, I don't know, it's been kind of a lull, but we did just get two flags, so we're gonna get this all strung back up and we'll see what happens next. Well, we thought that last one Brandon got was maybe gonna be the last one, but uh, go figure, about five minutes later, well, we got another tip up. It's the same one that I just caught fish at. No movement. Kind of been a solid trend so far today. Go ahead and check it. Oh, did that just break? That just broke the line. No, it just took it. <laughs> it really? just flat out took it. Whoa. Huh. Oh. First of the night. Ah, that's the first of the night. You got to have a swing and a miss, I right? was just saying that they've been doing it. Like they've been just <laughs> eating it. And, well, I guess it did eat it. It just didn't get hooked. I guess, apparently, the fish do not want us to leave tonight because that same exact tip-up that I just missed one at is up again. <laughs> Only been a couple minutes, but I guess we got a hot hole here. Don't tell me. Don't tell me. Picked it up and dropped her, eh? Yeah, middle's still on it too. Huh. Interesting. Well, he is in rough shape though. Yeah, that minnow looks dead. Yeah, well, it looks like we're going to have to replace our minnow. And we're going to stick around for a little bit longer. But I'm thinking the next one we get, we're probably just going to call. You wouldn't actually even believe it, but we just turned away after dropping that minnow down. And this freaking tip up just went up. But I am not going to take this one because apparently uh, I already striked out twice. I don't want to strike out three times. So we're going to let Brandon take this one so he can show me apparently how to catch a walleye. Yeah, literally we just dropped this down, set the camera back in the shack. Nick wasn't even in the shack, heard it flip, turn around, sure enough, there's a red blinking light. So, ah, yeah, Nick struck out twice in the last 10 minutes, I would say, on this tip up. Let's see if uh, maybe somehow magically on swing number three we can get him. Mmm, Bobber's right there. That's always a good sign. That's a really good sign. It, he is running. It does look like it's going away, so check this out. Gotcha. Unreal. Unreal. Head shakes. And that's why. That's why. That is why we're just gonna send that right back down the hole. <laughs> <laughs> well, goal is not to come out here and catch ones that size. That is one of the smaller walleyes I've ever pulled out of the hole. Wow, that's a tiny one. That one was probably less than 10 inches long. So we're gonna go ahead, set this back down, We've been seeing fish on the screen. We've been getting flags. Uh, usually as the night goes on, we don't get smaller ones. But then again, we have had nights like that. So I guess you just truly never know. Nice and easy. Drop it right back down the hole. 
We're gonna give her a few more minutes. We're catching fish, so it's hard to leave, but we'll see what happens. He's like right there. There we go. Nice. Feels decent. These fish don't want us to leave at all. No, they don't want us to go home. Oh God, oh, that was a little far in the chair. Woo, all right. Nice. They really don't want us to go home. Now we're getting them freaking jigging. <laughs> wow, hard to stop on a bite like this. Go ahead and get a little bit closer here for you guys. You can see what we're working with. That one came up, smoked the old dinner bell. Nice fish, probably right around that 18 or 19 inch range, but a nice one to say the least. We've been getting a flurry of flags and uh, we, we had this hole just dead sticked in here earlier with the minnow, but we started seeing a lot of activity. Go ahead and get this guy back. Come on, buddy. There he goes. Whew. All right, we keep saying this might be the last flag, might be the last fish, I don't know. We do gotta get going here soon, but we're having some pretty good luck as we get late into the evening. The major for this evening was actually, I think, 8.20 to 10.20. And uh, that seems to be true. It seems like the later we fish, the better the fish keep getting. So we'll see what happens. Well, would you look at that? A tip up that's actually moving. Moving, whoa. Yeah, let's just calm her down here. Yeah. This is something I haven't seen all night. <laughs> Slow turns. Once that again. It's that uh, same tip up that keeps going up. Yeah. It's either here or the shack that, that are getting all the action. Is that the eight pound shuffle or the nine pound crawl? Mm, yeah, I don't know. That's, I mean. It's kind of in between. It must be bigger if it's running, right? That's our only hope. Here we go. How's she feel? Feels decent. Up a decent fight. Some head shakes. Just another nice dandy walleye. Probably around that same freaking, I don't know, 18 to 20. That's been definitely the theme tonight. We did pull obviously that one bigger male, but yeah, this has kind of been just what we've been catching tonight, which is fine. We wanted to come to this lake, one, because it does have potential for a giant, but we wanted, you know, the last couple of videos, we've just kind of been catching low numbers yeah two right. or three but we've been blessed with some big fish right we kind of wanted to just come here and just like hammer fish yeah which i think if we had better conditions you know maybe not 30 mile per hour winds <laughs> it might be a little easier for us but yeah. we've had a pretty good night great night to and this one least. might actually be the last one this might actually be the last one get the minnow wow look at that came whole right freaking out. thing came out yeah well here we go last walleye of the night Gonna get them back here. Nice. Super nice and gold. Kicks out of the hands. Love it. Cannot complain at all with how tonight has gone. Nope. Would a big fish have been great? Absolutely, you know, but take what we can get. And uh, it's great to see that younger year class thriving out here. Am I gonna pull this tip up right away? This one's been going up a lot. I feel no. like we gotta save this one for last. This one's the last tip up. <laughs> gotta get a new minnow, but we're gonna take down the shack, you know, take some of the other tip ups that haven't gone up in a while out. We're gonna leave this one for last. Maybe, you know, it'll probably take us 10 minutes to do that, but maybe it'll maybe go up one lucky. more time. Well, as you can tell, Brandon's trying to be a good boy here by uh, starting to pack everything up from inside of the shack. And Brandon, what happened? Well, we're trying to just go home, but uh, you know, Here's the thing, I actually went and put the biggest shiner I could find in the bucket on this tip up and it's been two minutes since Nick just caught that fish and it went up again. This is an absolute highway for these fish coming through to this weed edge. And uh, well, let's see, oh it's turning, oh this is new. Just kidding, it happened for Nick, but it's new for me. This is a big shiner. Not that that says anything. Typically we like to use suckers tonight. We went with shiners and it's spinning. See, this is where you get in that debate. Do you take it right away? Do you give them just a second? It might be too early, but I'm gonna go ahead and take them, I think. Big shiner, hopefully a big fish. We're about to find out. Got him. Doesn't feel huge. Oh, there might be some weight there. It's better. Oh God. Big head shakes, that's Oh my God. Sure. Is it 18 inches? Yep, it's 18 inches. 
Wow, that was a big meal for you. Big old shiner on there and that one. Ouch, come here, buddy. Right in the snout we got him. See, if you take a look at this, this is what I was talking about by giving him a minute. That fish is hooked right in the snout. It did not take it down into the side, down the throat, anything like that, which obviously if you can get to him right away, that is great, but a lot of times that fish does not get a chance to actually take it all the way and you end up losing them. All right, unhooked. One last look at him. Get them back right away. I think this is gonna be the last one of the night. I, this has been no, the best. No, I got confidence. Really? You think we pull this while we pull everything else? No shot. Yeah, you're right. You're right. See you later, buddy. Wow. What a night. We are absolutely killing it. There's a ton of walleyes out here. Wow. Early ice has been a blessing to us. No giants tonight, but we are having a lot of fun. All right, well, here we are. We did it. We're able to go home. We had a great time out here tonight. Again, no giant fish, but you're not gonna have that every single night that you go out. We had a fun time out here. We caught a lot of fish. We learned some new stuff. This is a new spot to us. We had a good time. We kept it very simple. We got our beaver dam tip ups. We've been using red troubles the last two years and they've been helping us a lot. Um, nothing too flashy on any of our tip up setup tonight. Basically just a sinker. We were using shiners tonight. That's another kind of new thing for us. I guess the last two, three years we've been primarily using suckers, uh, but we did well on the shiners. So it's good to see um, this lake again. It's amazing. It's got big fish. It's got a lot of fish overall. We had a good time out here. So we are going to finish getting everything all packed up. We've got pretty much the whole sled loaded. I almost can't believe it. Somehow that tip up didn't go up again for the 15th time tonight, but we're getting out of here. Hopefully you guys enjoyed today's video. If you did, make sure to slap that thumbs up button for us. We would really appreciate that. Also, if you guys are new to the channel, make sure to hit the subscribe button. Also hit the notification bell. It'll let you know anytime that we post a video in the future. If you guys have any questions for us, leave it down in the comment section below. Any of the stuff that we used out here today, we will leave that down in the description of this video. And we'll see you on the next one. Tight lines. Yeah.